Okay, we got the Li Power Portable Power Station, Li or Li Power. This is the Mars 1000 Pro. 11, 12 watt hour, 1200 watt inverter. So let's pop this open, take a look. Very nice presentation. I like that. Okay, we got some cables here. So we got the usual, the brick. Let's see what kind of cables it comes with. All right, we got the 12 volt guard port. We got the AC. Oh, sweet. And we got the MC4 connectors. So they, it comes with all three connectors, which is A plus job. I love it when they give you all the cables to charge, right? 12 volt AC, MC4 cables. Very nice. And this is the brick it comes with. But for the actual battery bank, what's this? Oh, cool. It comes with a little carrying pouch. It's like a neoprene, like almost like a wetsuit material. So you can keep all your cables tidy. Oh, I like this. This is a nice addition. Nice little bag. I like it when manufacturers do this. They throw in little extra things for you, like all the cables, a little bag. It's the little things that count. Okay. Watcha! There it is. Really cool. Oh wow, I need to shave. But let's check it out. It also comes with a nice little card. Okay, the biggest pro that the Mars 1000 has is that right now it's only $10.99 for the package. You get 11 20 watt hours of Life PO4 batteries, not lithium ion batteries. This is lithium iron phosphate batteries. It's a better chemistry. It's more life cycles out of this battery. And you get two solar panels for free, basically. For $10.99, you get the 11 20 watt hour battery and two 100 watt solar panels, briefcase style. So 200 watt solar panels and the battery bank all the cables you can ask for for $10.99 I think this is an amazing deal guys if you guys are interested I'll drop the link in the description so you guys can check this one out it also comes with a cool blue color I, I think this is such a great deal for about a thousand dollars that includes the solar panels okay really quick guys I wanted to show you the listing because there is a $300 coupon right now bringing this down to $10.99 so you get the whole shebang this is actually a, a really great price because battery itself is a life peel for battery Battery. So you have very long lasting battery power at least 10 years before reaching its 80% capacity 3500 plus charge cycles and you get two 100 watt briefcase style solar panels so you can throw them on the kickstand or hang them up on the side of your van all for 1099 that is actually a really good deal if you buy these solar panels by themselves they are $250 each. So you get $500 worth of panels right here if you buy them together. This, uh, I, I don't know what to say. This is a really good deal because you're basically getting $500 worth of solar panels in here for free. Let's see what's inside. Okay, you got your usual user manual. 16 pages, customer service, a quick layout of everything, how to use it, etc. Um, how to prolong its battery life, what it comes with. And then you got your warranty card. You got two years of warranty. Nice to have that peace of mind. All right, as far as first impressions, the fit and finish of this thing is A1. A++ would do business with again. Look how clean this looks. Let me give you guys a closer look. All of the cutouts look great. The paint job is spot on. It just, everything about it looks amazing so far. This is aluminum, not plastic. If you can listen to this, look at this grate here. Ready? So you know it's gonna be sturdy and lightweight and it's not plastic. There's nothing like the fit and feel of aluminum. So shout out to Lee Power, Li Power. Great build quality and fit and finish. Everything on here, even the cutouts to the paint job, to the labeling, everything. I, there is not one thing out of place. Build quality on this is the handle is ruggedized and legit. Logo there on top. Everything about this just looks high quality, high dollar. Now, let's check out the solar panels. Feels like Christmas. Hey, Christmas is coming up. Are you van lifers out there going to be going home for the holidays? Seeing friends and family? Let me know in the comments. I'm currently in Colorado, but Thinking about going back to California to go see my dog Brutus, tie up some loose ends over there, mainly shut down my peel box and my storage unit. I think I'm gonna stick it out here in Colorado. So far, Colorado's been good to me. Let's get to these solar panels. Oh, yes! Awesome. I honestly do feel like this is Christmas. Briefcase style solar panel. And this hand, look at, check out this handle. Nice, like, 
aluminum and it has a little stretch to it. This is nice. It has a pocket back here. Let's take a look at this. Whoa, wow. So it has all the cables built right in with a user manual. We have two USB-A ports and one USB-C and an input. This is output is 100 watts at 18 volts. Boom, 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 boom. Look at this, amazing. It feels like a, like a mesh that's been formed right on top of the solar panel or something. It feels very sturdy. Now, I, I've, I've had some where they're like, <laughs> while all my stuff falls down. I've had some where the, the panels, they feel very flimsy, but never fear, there is also a kickstand. So we're gonna get outside and show you how this works. This is a nice carrying case. It feels like this ballistic nylon material. Zipper back here, and here is the kickstand that holds this entire panel. It's Velcroed down so it stays put while you're carrying it in and out of your van or wherever to the event. Very nice and easy to stow away in your van. This is awesome, I love this. I, I just like their fit and finish with everything. There's also little um, eyelets on either side. So if you wanted to hang this up and collect, harvest some sun power, you can instead of putting it on a kickstand, you can just hang this up on the side of your van. We're gonna test that out too and see if it works. I'm thinking might as well pull in the last hour or so of sun before it sets and this is how I'm doing it. Right now my roof panels aren't getting very much because the sun is so low. So might as well mount up the Lee Power 100 watt and then just route it right into my window. Now if you buy this whole package with the battery and two solar panels you're also going to get this Anderson Y connector so you can connect both solar panels to the battery bank. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so here's another way you can set it up. 200 watts strung together inside my window and I'll show you how much I'm getting right now. It's not quite exactly because I'm kind of partially shading this area. So I'm gonna play around with setup and let me show you inside. And so on the inside of this window, here we go. I am pulling 143 watts currently. And if I wanted to be a little more incognito, I can always, always do this. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually at my day job now, and this is an actual use case for the Mars 1000. We got a sump pit that we're gonna drain out. So let me grab the pump here. Okay, we got the pump, and let's plug this in. Come on. Woohoo! This is the giant sump pit right here. Plug it right in. Got a little bit of snow on the prongs. There we go. So we're getting all this water out of this on the go without a wall outlet. So this is a real world case scenario here for the Mars 1000, pumping out all this. So this is nice to have on the job site just in case you need some power on the go. Mars 1000 Pro in action, running this sump pump into the proper drainage. how to calculate the working times for your device, right? So let's pull out your calculator. For the Mars 1000 Pro is 1120 watt hours. We're gonna times that by 0.85 to account for inefficiencies, heat loss, etc. We come with this number here, 952. Then we're gonna divide that by what the wattage usage is of your device. If you don't know, on the power brick or on the bottom of your device, whether it's a blender, microwave, etc., it's gonna say the number like say 700 watts, which is a microwave, right? So we're gonna divide that by 700 watts. So you can t you could continually run that microwave for an hour and 36 minutes. I don't think you're gonna cook something that long, um, but that's just an example. Okay, so now let's try, say your, your cell phone. It's 15 watts. So you're gonna continually charge a cell phone, which no, no cell phone can charge that long, but 63 hours, for 15 watts, right? So that's a quick way to calculate your working times. All it is is you get the watt hours, in this case 1120, times that by 0.85 for inefficiencies, divide that by operating power of your device and you get your working times, okay? All right, hope that helps. The wall plug, we are getting two over 200 watts. Now let's see if we plug in the USB-C, if we get more than that. There we go, we're jumping up. 
So I think this tops out at 260 watts at a time. So this USB-C here is a two-way. This is a nice feature to supercharge your battery. If you have your short on time, you might as well charge it to the max. 260 watts in. <laughs> Okay, now let's get into some charging times. Through a wall outlet, it's gonna be 5.6 hours to fully charge. Now through solar charging, it is gonna be 5.6 hours to charge with two 100 watt panels. So 200 watt maximum input. As far as car charging, 12 volt, it's gonna take a long time. It is 16 hours. For a generator, it's gonna be 5.6 hours to fully charge. Now if you want the quickest way to charge this, is gonna be a dual charging. It's with the wall outlet and solar panel, plus the 60 watt PD and that's gonna take 4.3 hours to fully charge it also depends on the intensity of the light and it has a total of 10 outputs for charging multiple devices at once for solar it's gonna have a 200 watt maximum input and it weighs 29.3 pounds very easy to carry and for everybody else outside of the US it is 13.3 kilogram comes in yellow and blue this also says it has the world's first low noise design less than library noise so I can attest to that it is very very quiet so this one talks about its lifespan and the quick cooling which is very true in the three to four weeks I've had this the fan has only come on twice first time when I turn on the inverter it literally turned the fan on for half a second then turned off second time is when I was charging it through a wall socket and USB-C at the last 90% of its charge the fan came on which is not bad very very quiet which is consideration for people who have sensitive ears like me where you have to sleep with earplugs that is me because I listen to every single barking dog or somebody walking by or a drop of a water anything will wake me up so something like this that's quiet is nice to have here's what the fan sounds like and let's try our decibel meter so it is daytime and there's cars driving by and ambient noise and me talking so this number isn't exactly just picking up the fan noise it is advertised as 35 decibels, and I think that is true, 35 to 40 decibels. Okay, a real quick pros and cons of the Li Power. First pro is it is lightweight. It is only 29 pounds. It's also small for 11 20 watt hours. It's actually a good size in between size between the 2000 and the 500. Another pro is it has an EV grade life PO4 batteries. This isn't a lithium ion battery which has less lifespan. So it is a life PO4 battery. Another pro is it is made out of aluminum. Another pro is it is very very quiet and then another pro is that it does have fast charging it does require a few things where you have to plug in and then use the USB-C and the solar panels and then you have fast charging here's a new cool feature that I just figured out if you plug in your USB-C now look at the display it will automatically turn on and start charging really cool you don't have to push the button and push this button it'll automatically turn on so here on Amazon, it says you have four year warranty, but when you get the card, it does say two years. So I'm going to check with Lee Power to see what the correct answer is and then pin that comment in the comment section below. Okay, the biggest pro that the Mars 1000 has is that right now it's only $10.99 for the package. For $10.99, you get the 1120 watt hour battery and two 100 watt solar panels, briefcase style. Another pro is it has an intelligent cooling system. All the batteries are down below and all the electronics are down below and the fan are on top to cool this down it is very quiet another pro this button right here is just for the display it's not a master button so you don't have to press this and hold and then press whatever power you want to turn on and hold so it's a lot quicker speaking of the buttons it is raised and pulled out of this so it is nice to feel even at night you can feel where the buttons are as far as cons I really can't think of too many to be honest with you you know I, I, I do review a lot of these power banks so I do have some experience with them and I honestly, I can't think of a single con. 
I think that's going to do it for this review, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video and supporting the channel. If you guys are interested in the Lee Power Pro, I'll drop the link into the comments so you guys can check this product out. $10.99, amazing deal. Shout out to the notification squad who has a little bell icon. See you guys in the comment section early. Hashtag OTG gang gang. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for all the comments and questions and the emails and, and the support through the years. I've been on the road now for two years and I am having a great time. So take it easy, guys. And remember, stay weird.